Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Z, so hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. This is gonna be a general read for Sagittarius. Keep in mind that the read is a very, very general, you guys, so it may not apply to everyone. If you do want more accuracy, you can definitely book a personal read with me. So it's a pre-recorded YouTube video that's sent to your email. And to book one, all you have to do is just look in my description box below, click on my link tree link, and you're gonna click the first tab, which says book a read, submit your info. That's when I respond back to you um, through email. So yeah, make sure you're putting in the correct information as well so that I can respond back to you. Um, so yeah, let's get into it, you guys. Let's see what shows up here for Sagittarius. This is just like one of the first reads I'm doing for you guys for January 2022. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell as well so that you can be notified when I do upload more reads. So yeah. Let's see what shows up here. What messages do you have for Sagittarius for January 2022? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? For January 2022, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? For January 2022, thank you. Oh, this is the first, card, first time I've seen this card, but uh, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in a few minutes. But it says, I get my friends and family's back, sides, and front. I got them, plus I may get a lift too. So we do have, it's like a... um a dinosaur i think it's like a t-rex or something with like a bunny so yeah it looks like here um what i'm getting so far with this is almost like some type of support as well for some of you guys it's like maybe you've been um almost like maybe you feel like you've been down on your look as well yeah it looks like you guys could have somebody who's about to help you or like some type of support or something that's what it seems like let's see it's almost like somebody saved a day or something. That's what it feels like. What other messages do you have for Sagittarius? Okay, so we got this card right here. It's like Bigfoot holding a heart, y'all. <laughs> and these are affirmation cards, by the way. And I do want to mention, too, if you are taking some type of information or insight from the read, then make sure you hit the like button, like give it a thumbs up. It's just sending gratitude and love, y'all. Um, because it is, is, it will be like return back to you. Once you send out love and like good vibes, sending out gratitude, it's going to come back to you. So it says, I openly show my emotions and intentions. It helps to have a GPS tracking device on it. No losing it for this big foot. So um, the color red is like very significant here in y'all read. But let's get one more here. Let's get one more. But it looks like here, I see some type of like, now this could also be like a partnership as well. But it's like two people, you and another individual Sagittarius, they have good intentions here. Give me one more for Sag. Whoa. So we have this card. Um, it says my middle name is Proton. <laughs> My middle name is Proton, Proton, always constant, always positive. You are welcome, Electron. So yeah, it's almost like um, two opposite. Like what I'm um, seeing here within the cards, it's like almost like two opposites attract or something, that type of situation. And again, the color red is very, very significant in y'all read. So I do see where, yeah, there's some type of like, partnership or like a now this could also be like a business connection too for somebody but it's basically like two two um two individuals here that's showing up here it could be like a romantic situation here too y'all especially with this card um the bigfoot card because it does say i openly show my emotions what's showing up here but let's see what shows up tell me about this first card here for sag yeah, so wow, it just confirmed what I was saying and feeling. But yeah, the lover's card showed up here. So this is some type of partnership relationship that's showing up for someone. They have good intentions here as well. And I do feel like too, there could be some type of um, something about this person or something about you, <laughs> Sagittarius, could kind of scare or like shock the person. Not scare like in a bad way. It's just, it could be something different. 
and I do feel like too, um, either you or another individual here, it's like you guys are coming out of hermit mode. Um, it's like maybe you've been single for a while too, or just like in solitude. So yeah, and again, the color red, y'all, she has on a red jacket from what's showing up here. It's like the color red is like standing out to me. But let's see, tell me more about um, this first card here for Sag. Okay. So these cards want to pop out, y'all. So, okay. So look, we got the Chariot, we got the Three of Cups, and the Three of Swords. So I'm a, um, this is what I'm picking up intuitively, you guys. Either you, Sagittarius, or the other person here went through some type of painful ending, you guys. It looks like you've been healing here as well. It looks like someone's um, getting back out there as well. I do see some type of um, reunion or like a reconciliation for some people. It's like maybe you and this person have been separated, but so somebody needs to get in control here of their emotions. That's what's showing up here, and I feel like it's in regards to this Bigfoot. Let's see. Tell me about the second card here for Sag. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody's single, single with the Nine of Pentacles showing up here. So yeah, it looks like um, now for some people, this could be some type of like reunion, but it just feels like someone's getting back out there, like being social here. Like not really sure what the dating scene looking like right now, y'all, <laughs> but um. I mean, that's what it looks like here. And this was what's showing up here in the cards. But yeah, it looks like here, if you're single, single, it's a new partnership or relationship. So we got the Queen of Cups that showed up here as well. So look, I see Cancer energy actually, which is like my energy because um, I'm a Cancer. But a can it could be like a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio that's showing up here in the read. Like you could be um interested in one or like someone's like a cancer is interested in you or like a water sign so let's see tell me about this last card here for sag yeah eight of cups wow so with this right here you guys i feel like somebody got the clarity on what they need to do it looks like maybe you walked away from a certain situation but i feel like for the most part y'all this is about someone moving on like starting new they have like a new star or something like a clean slate but for the most part it's like the clarity about moving on also too there could be some type of communication that's showing up here as well for someone because i see two people coming together it's like maybe you met someone new and it's like whoever is hurt they're needing to move on Especially if you was showing, like you could have been showing up as that nine of wands type of energy where it's like you're guarded and you're lacking faith. You should definitely, um, you know, have faith here in regards to moving on towards something new. And yeah, it keeps showing too where it's like either you, Sag, or the other person that you're connecting to are going to be connected with you guys. It's something different about them. Let's see. Tell me more about this last card here. Tell me more about this last card. Yeah, for some of you guys, you could be going back and forth here on, oh wow. Look y'all, the color red is like very heavy and y'all read, oh my God. Someone's going back and forth here in regards to like a family situation as well. Um, it looks like the masculine energy could be like an Aries or like a fire sign. But it's kind of crazy because, like, the emperor is showing up. And I keep saying that I'm seeing, like, the red for you guys. And the red is, like, associated with the root chakra. It's, like, about you feeling safe, secure, like, stability. So, yeah. Um, with this right here, whoever the masculine energy is, and I feel like I'm talking to, like, the female, is saying that they are, they're stable. They're, like, a, they're showing up here as, like, a very mature individual. This person knows what they want and looks like they want marriage like commitment they could want children as well but it's something very stable they could be financially stable as well but it looks like someone could be juggling here as well they could be needing to like um uh, find some type of balance but with the eight of swords showing up here someone i feel like it's the female y'all like the female energy or feminine energy i'm gonna say that it's showing up here they are not really as confident in regards to like moving on that's what it seems like so 
try to change your perspective here as well. It's not what you think it is. Like, give it some time because I'm not really sure the full details on this connection, but it's like your own thoughts is keeping someone, someone's thoughts here is keeping them stuck from like not moving on. But it's letting you know that this is something stable here with the Emperor card showing up here. So you could be needing to like take charge as well um, in regards to like moving on, finally moving on in your love life. That's what's showing up. But let's pull some additional cards here. What additional messages do you have for Sag for this spread? That was like once a mini, but let's see. What additional messages do you have for Sag for this spread? What else do they need to know? Thank you. So we got angel numbers that showed up here. Some of y'all could be seeing angel numbers. It's definitely in regards to like where you're headed. It's like maybe, and I feel like this is like, this could definitely be like the clarity as well. It's like maybe you're seeing angel numbers. You could be seeing like 222 two, two for somebody. Because I see a new partnership that's showing up here. But yeah, whatever angel number you're seeing, just like try to try to look them up. But um, I do feel like too, whoever is in this eight of swords type of energy, they're going to get the clarity that they need in order like for them to like move on basically. And try, it's saying also too to stay positive about um, moving on as well. What other messages do you have for Aries? I mean, um, sorry y'all. I don't know why I'm saying Aries. It could be Aries somebody dealing with. But excuse me, if this is a read for Sag. What additional messages do you have for Sag? For this read, what else do they need to know? What additional messages do you have for Sag? Can we get one more? Oh, fear. Okay. Oh, so yeah, there's fear here surrounding a new cycle. And it's saying to welcome in the new. And I do feel like too, it's like maybe something about it is different, you guys. It's almost like, because somebody's thinking negative. Because the way it's showing up here, um, look, we about to go into science class real quick. But the proton, it says my middle name is proton. Always constant, always positive. You are welcome electrons. I remember like one one thing is like positive and then the other one's like negative, but it's like they need each other at the end of the day or something. I forgot y'all, I ain't look, I ain't took science in a minute, but I do remember a part of that. But yeah, there's fear surrounding a new cycle for somebody. It's saying to welcome in the new, there's gonna be good news here. Like some type of information clarity that you receive. Yeah. And also to this connection, it could start off as like a friendship, you guys as well but yeah this looks really really good i'm gonna pull one more just to see what else shows up for y'all give me one more here for sag spiritual bad big yes for some of you guys i feel like this is about you raising your vibration because you know you could take a spiritual bath to raise your vib vi raise your vibration because right now someone's like thinking negative they're um not really as confident in regards to moving on but it's saying this is a big yes like go towards it so yeah that's what's showing up here i am going to leave the read here i hope that it was helpful insightful for you guys of course you can leave a comment below give the video a thumbs up if you did take some information or insight from the read if you are new here feel free to subscribe as well